Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. This time I am doing things differently because I am not starting this range test outside the car. No, as you can see, I am sitting in it. Why, you might ask? Well, this is nice and comfortable. I just felt like it. Luckily, it will not affect the result. What car am I sitting in then? Well, this is the Renault Megane E-Tech 100% electric. Yeah, that is the full name of this car. It is ridiculous. But anyway, the Renault Megane E-Tech 100% electric, a competitor to the Volkswagen ID3. Of course, I am sitting in the top of the range version, so that means a larger battery pack of 60 kilowatt hours and a WLTP range of 440 kilometers, around 440 kilometers, depending on which version you take. What can I say about the efficiency? Do I think this car can do it? I don't know, to be honest. And that is because I picked up this car three hours ago. So I don't know yet. I don't know, but we will see in this test. The conditions today, there is some sun, there are some clouds, it is 21 degrees. So basically in terms of temperature, it is perfect, but there is some wind though. Yeah, what can I say more? I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate the mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 km an hour. The car is charged to 98% actually, so well, let's go. Yay, I am in the roadworks and I can only drive 70 km an hour. Luckily the roadworks are only about 1 km long, so it does not influence the result that much. The car has almost used 10% state of charge and I have driven on the 10%, 41 kilometers, it will do around 41 kilometers on that 10%, so that means the range 410 kilometers, almost WLTP, almost, and I'm a little bit disappointed by it because the first hour that I drove with this car, it seemed pretty efficient, so I had quite high hopes that, well, it would do the WLTP range of 440 kilometers. But maybe the car surprises me, uh, maybe I have headwind and on the way back I have tailwind for example, and we can still do 440 kilometers. The consumption at the moment is 14.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So yeah, not that bad, but with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, yeah, 400 kilometers. This is the end of the roadworks. People are driving 63, even though they may drive 90. Oh God, really? Anyway, I will keep on driving and I will get back to you. Good news, because the range, as it seems like right now, has gone up from 410 to 416 kilometers. Woohoo! Yeah. The car has used 25% state of charge and on those 25% I have driven 104 kilometers. So that's it. But I have to say though, I am driving east at the moment and the total elevation is going up. So when I turn around, I'm going west and then the total elevation is going down. So maybe that has some effect. But 440 kilometers, not today, not today. It is not going to happen. So again, I will keep on driving and then I will see you when the car has used 50% state of charge. Or you will see me actually. You will see me maybe in, well, three seconds. Alrighty, time for the third and final update. Nothing special here to be honest. The car has used 50% state of charge and on this 50% I have driven 210 kilometers. So the range actually gone up to 420 kilometers. Still impressive though for a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack because the average consumption at the moment is 13.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So again, yeah, this car is on the efficient side of the spectrum. Really impressive, really well done Renault. But I also wonder if it is as impressive when doing 130 km per hour. But that is another test. First you will get the result of the 90 km per hour test. So I arrived at the charger, so let me give you the result of the 90 km per hour test. I started this test with 97% state of charge and I arrived here at the charger with 39%. 
So that means I've used 58%. On those 58%, I have driven 245.4 kilometers. So do the calculation and you can drive in these conditions 423 kilometers. 423, that is actually pretty good. <laughs> really good actually. The WLTP range of this car is around 440 kilometers. And well, this is not a press car, this is a dealer car, but it is fully loaded. So it also has the 20 inch wheels. And I think if I remember correctly that that version has a WLTP range of around 430 kilometers. So then getting 423 kilometers is really good. Very impressive Renault, very impressive. The consumption was 13.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And again, that is on the efficient side of the spectrum. Well done, Renault, well done. What were the conditions? Well, it was between 21, well, it was 21 degrees when I started the test and it is 17 degrees right now. So between 21 and 17 degrees and there is not too much wind. So let me charge up and then I will do the 130 kilometers per hour test. Alrighty, it is time for the 130 kilometers per hour test. And if you are wondering why is the sun shining again and why is he wearing different clothes? Well, it is a different day. Yesterday I did the 90 kilometers per hour test and now it is time for the 130 kilometers per hour test because I didn't have any time. Power! The power comes so gradual in this car, it's actually really nice. All right, it's after seven because I have to wait until after seven in the evening, otherwise there's no speed limit of 130, then it is only 100. But I am cruising, almost cruising, cruising the cruise control, there we go. I am now cruising 130 kilometers an hour. I will keep on doing that until most of the battery is drained. The start percentage is 89% and well the conditions are the same as yesterday so it is now 21 degrees it will cool down so maybe at the end of my test it is around 18 degrees and I don't have to yell this car is quiet on the highway really nice really nice I'm already at the turnaround point after 24 kilometers. Yes, I am doing runs of 24 kilometers because, well, that is the longest stretch nearby that I can do 130 kilometers an hour. And well, the car has already used 10% state of charge, almost 10% on that 24 kilometers. And I gotta say, that is a bit disappointing. I was expecting that this car could do close to 300 kilometers, well, doing 130 kilometers an hour because while doing 90 it was so efficient i thought yeah the, finally a car that can also do 300 kilometers while doing 130 just like a kona and the e-nero and of course tesla but it seems like it will not be able to do that again for for me that is a disappointment but i will continue on doing these runs and then well, we will see what the final result is after a while. Hello, due to circumstances, I had to stop my range test early. And that is the reason why I am sitting here in my home studio. I did not drive as long or as far as I wanted to, but that does not mean I don't have a result for you. So let's get to it. I started the test with 89% state of charge and I arrived at a checkpoint with 50%. So that means I have used 39%. On that 39% I had driven 103.8 kilometers. Do some calculation and you can do while driving 130 kilometers an hour with the Renault Megane E-Tech 100% electric. 266 kilometers in these conditions. Keep in mind it was pretty much perfect conditions around 21 degrees. Not too much wind, sunny. So yeah that were the conditions basically almost perfect so in winter yes it will be less but anyway 266 kilometers is pretty good the average consumption was 21.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and i have the same conclusion as i had with the 90 kilometers per hour test the renault megane 100 electric is efficient it is a efficient car 
recommend it. And that was the result and the end of the range test. I hope you liked it and if you did, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued.